Hello and welcome back to another episode of the HT Physio Quick Tip Series. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today we're going to be talking about how to fix back ache between the shoulder blades. So the type of problem we're talking about today is achiness that happens right here between the shoulder blades and the spine. And it's a really common problem and one that affects my desk workers much more than it affects people who tend to be uh, more active in their jobs. And to be honest, there are many different causes of this problem, but most of them are postural. Now, the first thing to say is um, anything I say in this video shouldn't be taken as medical advice. Because of the range of things that can cause this problem, it's always a good idea to get checked out. But if you have a postural pain here that gets worse when you've been sitting for a long time and um, you, you notice it is worse after you've been working or when you're in certain postures, then I've got an exercise to show you today that could be really good for helping it for you as well. So before we dive in, I'm going to show you exactly the area we're talking about and why we often get problems there. So in order to demonstrate, I've got two models that I'm going to use today. So I've got the model of the spine. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it. OK, so we've got the vertebra here, which are these um, these pink bones. And then we've got a model of the shoulder as well. So that is the front of the shoulder. This is the back of the shoulder. So we've got the shoulder blade here, got the collarbone here, which you can't see. And then we've got the humerus, which is the arm bone here. So in the human spine, that would sit about there. OK, so if we did an X-ray, this is what it would look like for you. You'd have your uh, your your spine in the middle and then you'd have a shoulder blade, which is quite close to the spine. So that's about here. Then you've got your arm bone here and that makes up the shoulder joint. Now, in real life, so you can't see it here, obviously, because we don't have the muscles on this diagram. But what we have in between these two areas are a group of muscles and the main group that we have here are called the rhomboids. OK, and the rhomboids are very, very important and they help you to pull your shoulders back. So when you pull back like a rowing movement, they do that. And they also help to control the shoulder blades when we move the arm. So they're a very important group of muscles. Now, we can get problems with this group of muscles when we ask them to do jobs that they weren't designed to do. And when we sit with a bad posture, what we tend to find is people slump forward like this and their shoulder rounds like that. That changes the position that the rhomboids are in and it basically means they have to work in a way that they weren't designed to do. because they're trying to keep the shoulder blade in, but you're sat in a way where it's coming out this way. So they're tugging and tugging and they end up getting tight and sore. And they also end up weak because they're working in a way that they weren't um, made to do, which means that they can't work in the way they were designed to do when we ask them to. So they end up with problems and they are the area that tends to hurt most people in when they get an ache between the shoulder blades. So this is the area where the pain is. And if you look at it on me, it's here. So these are my rhomboids. They're right there between the shoulder blade and the spine. So if you've got an ache here, the first thing that can help it is to obviously get your posture sorted. So instead of sitting like this when you're at the computer, try and just pull your shoulder blades back and pull your chin in. I've done a video specifically on the perfect sitting posture, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Now, in terms of a stretch for this area, that can also be very, very effective. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And there's a really good stretch that you can do while you're at your desk at work or while you're sitting to try and relieve this pain. So I'm going to demonstrate what it is now. So we're going to pretend that the pain I've got is on my right hand side. So it's between my shoulder blades on my right hand side. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is sit up nice and straight and I'm going to take my right hand and my right hand is going to come across my body and grab my left knee. So grab the outside of my left knee. So my arm should be coming across me. Now, when I'm in this position, 
I want to grab my leg quite tight because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to lean away from my arm. Okay, and as I lean away from my arm, if I'm holding on tight enough, what I should feel is that my shoulder is coming around. So my shoulder blade is spreading away from my spine as I lean back. Now, when you get that movement, you'll start to feel a stretch. And we can increase the stretch by rounding our shoulders and turning very slightly towards this side. So you turn towards the arm and I can feel a really nice stretch between my shoulder blades here. And once I've got that stretch, all I'm gonna try and do is hold it for 30 seconds. And when you come out of it, after a couple of small shoulder rolls like this, you should find that that tension has dramatically reduced. Now, if your pain is on the left side, you would simply do the opposite. So you take your left hand, you grab the outside of your right knee, and then you let your shoulder come forward as you lean back. And then when you feel the stretch, you just curl the spine slightly and hold. So it's a nice gentle stretch. You shouldn't really strain anything doing it, so it shouldn't feel painful, but you should feel like there's a bit of an intense stretch between the shoulder blades. And the best thing about stretches is to do them um, frequently, not all in one go. So don't try and do 10 minutes of this in one go. 30 seconds at a time, but spread throughout the day is the most effective approach. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. That's just one of the tips I have to help people with pain when they're sitting. There's tons more tips like this in my book. The book is called Thriving Beyond 50 and there's a link to get your copy on Amazon below this video, so go and check it out. Other than that, I really appreciate you watching my videos and I'd love it if you subscribed to the channel and uh, watched more of the videos and shared it with your friends. So make sure to hit like and subscribe below this video. Other than that, that's all I have for you today. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to catching up with you on the next video.